uprising still the nuts? Probably. It's like a two-point nerf for the sec. Saris Yen Phoenix. Or Defender. Precision Strike. Nice, nice. Um Huh. It's probably Defender. Hey, Shimmy Chip. Thanks for the host. Welcome everybody. Hope your stream went well. Phoenix is just so bad when you don't draw it in round one. Or even, like, if you're on blue coin, it can be a little rough to get down. Defender's just always kind of good. Sometimes just wins the game. Cyrus is an 8 with some upside. It's a pretty nice upside. These cards are all really good. Defender, but... Not sure how I feel about it. Very possible that could have been any card in that pack. Gen's nice with Uprising, team. Another defender. I'm gonna just take 12. Do you like points? Sorry, it's a pretty good defender though. I'll take points. Five. Take the effort. Yep. Tavern Brawl? Tavern Brawl is certainly the more fun pick. Other options aren't great. Nice, nice. Nothing that combos with Adept. HP is Epidemic. Uh, five? Scholar's a five. I don't know. I never really want to keep it. It's like so rare that there's a world where Adept is good. Sure. Got it around one tempo. Elder Bear. Guara, Olaf. I don't think Vivian's a consideration. The only reason to take. I mean, we have Totem for Olaf. Yeah. Nice. No, could have had Olaf Elephant. This one, the Phoenix. I think this one's the Phoenix. Let me just pray we never get muzzled this draft. Get a Yoana. I just work with Fnatic. works, right? I've got Smuggler. Pikeman's like a so-so hit. Fnatic makes a play for nine. Currently no locks. Removal or Alpha Werewolf. Ram, Waylay. Uh, I don't have a lot of ways to line up the Waylay. Let's take the Ram. Lanch, connect to Cuthrope. Okay, this draft did not come together. Uh, where are we going now? What is, we could have had like three Royal Guards. We could have lived the dream. Instead, I think we're gonna unironically have one. <laughs> These cards are trash. <laughs> oh no. That's 
something. Darn. No Yolanda to go with our bloody good friends. We want Ye. Just the War Council? Yuck. Am I really taking a War Council in a 15 bronze deck? Pretty sure I am. Breaking con breaking contract is basically just cheating. You're denying yourself from having any fun if you just don't play any non-broken decks. Trying to win with bad decks in arena is so much more fun. Than just like having the nuts. Wild Boar, two times mobile deck challenge is welcoming. I mean, it's also just when you have a good deck. You play against so many new players in Arena, that it's just not very fun. You just sort of run over everybody and don't play any close games. Winning on even on blue incoming. Yeah, it's looking like that might happen. Yeah. It only needs eight here. It's not that hard. Plague Maiden Rats. Yeah, no. I'd rather play Kiki Queen. I think it's a much better deck. Um, yeah, don't get to kill that. Let's try to thin with this. Points. Is points. Five into seven brawl. Also gets rid of the armor. Here. Nice. We have uh, built our own primordial Dow. Hey, Miss Lutney, how you doing? are really bad. That's crazy. Hey, Gudo. Of course, I 
Fischmeister. Oh, this guy's on top. Oh, wait. <laughs> Eh, it's still probably less valuable than bloody good friends. Yeah. White Frost, my phoenix! doesn't really hate on it much. It hates on the gameplay, because the gameplay is kind of bad. At the very least, the gameplay is way too easy if you're familiar with Gwent. What? Three more copies? Remember because you really remember Trace the actual Gwent is awful? Yeah, like that's the main complaint. And I get that. But I've never heard anything else. I'm pretty sure there's broken stuff without Scythemen too. We'd actually build more than one. Yeah, there were like more there's, there's so many little like quality of life things that would have been nice too. Good for our opponent. Yeah, but like being able to experiment easily would have been nice. Yeah, your opponent. Where right, like if you wanted to try something else, you had to like tear apart the the deck you were currently playing, and if you wanted to go back to that deck, you had to rebuild it. Run break here. Phoenix? Nope. We're on the We're on the right coin, I guess. Specific enemies to have more immersion. Yeah, that's. <laughs> if it was forced that you had to do it that way, and there was like a nice way of that working, then it might have been cool. But there was just no reason to ever change your deck. <laughs> now, there's exactly one fight where I had to change my deck the, the bridge, bridge fight, where they disabled your leader for the first round or whatever, first two rounds. The deck that I was playing for most of the game was just completely unusable for that fight. He's going to destroy his own six. Or he's just going to roll the 50-50. Oh, what a 
lucky man. Yeah, the story was nice. I like the storytelling in Thronebreaker better than the storytelling in Witchy. It just felt like it flowed a lot better. Better writing and like the 2D visuals just kind of looked better than the, the 3D models. I don't know. Fuck. Phoenix. No Malarva. I don't know why I put this ranged. Whoops. Okay, it didn't matter. Is the Runbreaker more successful if they released it pre homecoming? Probably not. It would have to be a very, very different game. A lot of the ways the cards were designed in that game don't make sense with pre-homecoming mechanics. You excited for Cyberpunk? Not particularly. I don't really get excited for new game releases. Five tavern brawl. Let's kill the five. Three to two to one to one to one. No, so you still get the vitality. I can definitely see it getting better. Homecoming hampered their sales? No. Not even a little bit. There was hype around Homecoming. More people talked about it because of Homecoming. Another tavern brawl. Huh. Weird. It's six. This is what, average 5.5? This could line up the brawl. Or not. What do you got? Black clad heads. Okay, I was worried those MOBA Shalemar. <laughs> so 
So we're two for two on opponents that didn't have a leader. Not bad, not bad. Is there really something people actually want? At what point since Homecoming would you think there's a better window to release Thronebreaker? You can't release it before because the mechanics for the game don't really work. Close ranks. Like the problem is not with timing. The problem is just like the build of Homecoming. You could have spent more time working on it, sure. But, like, the big problem is just, like, the gameplay's bad, not timing. What's the win con of this random deck? Oh, carry over. Play more points than our opponent. Usually how arena decks work. Play more points than your opponent. get to get the phoenix down. Need 10 here. Don't think they plan on making another single player win game. The first one didn't go so hot. There, I guess the second one didn't go so hot. The first one wasn't really a win game. The first one went real well. I think the negative reception of Homecoming impacted sales. No. Not in any significant way. The problems with the game go deeper than just Homecoming. It's trying to appeal to a market that just didn't play Beta Gwent. And even that market, where like the easy gameplay wouldn't be a huge drawback, it still kind of failed. Not to say that there aren't people that enjoyed it, but a lot of people didn't. Um, just see what's in the video. Oh, nice, we're pushing. <laughs> Let's go. Killed the larva, but he didn't. Interesting. Find your words and who you address and how you address them. Slay the Spire is more of a roguelike than a a card game. Slay the Spire forces you to be different with every run. Runs don't last very long. You get variety in gameplay that way. Thronebreaker doesn't really force any variety on you. It's just like a, a basically linear story. 
where you can play the same deck the entire game and steamroll through. Sure, I mean, I can't say that it didn't happen. But in general, the people that were demotivated by Homecoming 1.0 weren't the target audience that they were aiming for. They wanted Thronebreaker to appeal to people that hadn't played Gwent in the past. And I don't think the, the reception of Gwent Homecoming had a huge impact on those sales. There's no reason to click on this. Made a mistake of not putting it on Steam right away. That was probably a bigger problem. <laughs> oh, hey. Got a, a reason to click on the RAM. So I put this to 7, I dual 7 into 11. It's like almost a Fibonacci number, right? Or er, wait. This is a 14. This is 11 into 14. Oh, that doesn't work. Right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I knew I had to do it on the defender first. I wasn't thinking that I couldn't target the thing adjacent to it. Whoops. Just didn't need that tavern brawl anyway. It's okay. We place our trust in you, eternal flame. We have an Dragalarvo. We can discard a card or two. And Dragalarva and Uprising. We're basically cheating. Uprising can be strong in the fact that it wasn't entirely based around boosts. Uh, yeah. Scala. Oh no, opponent also has a cheating leader. How do I beat that? Don't make Cleaver. Don't make Cleaver. That's also bad, but I can live with that. Muzzle. Oh, shit. A better Phoenix deck than we are. Every lives a thief. No, how are things? Cannot let you have that. Core Anthem. 
muzzle. I can't waste my Aguara. <laughs> I need my card quality. Pretty sure we're passing on seven to not get buried by the phoenixes. I guess it would have been kind of cute to like roll this for White Frost last turn. <laughs> not because it's good, because it's kind of funny. Swears. So your Berserker gonna line up a Swears. So I don't have Vigo or Andregalarva. Bunny cam is currently non functional. Space probably should be an 8 power berserk for I mean, it. Could be. I don't think that breaks anything. Try to get the botch thing down next turn. I wait for a brawl. Just roll the Aguara and see what happens. Hailstorm to probably turn this off. Oh, I choose the targets. <laughs> I didn't know that.
click on your SCG on Chrome on your MacBook. Couldn't see. Oh no. Yeah, I have no idea how I would debug things for Mac. I do not have an Apple device. Uh, would I want 7 into 12? 7 into 11? I mean, it's still fine, right? Just do it now. Whatever. Just so it doesn't randomly get broken up. I've still got leader. <laughs> Why would he concede to that? I guess he's, uh, he's pretty far behind. Okay. I didn't think Max had a right click. Shows how much I know about Max. They have a keyboard shortcut. Ah. What is the keyboard shortcut? I can see if I can trick Unity. To playing nice with the keyboard shortcut. My control <laughs> just remember for muscle memory. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can try to make control click the same as right click. Patience is not a virtue. I am known to have. Uh... What are you? What the fuck is focus assist? Okay. Don't forget to claim your GTA Five from Epic Games. That sounds like I have to like install the Epic Store. Doesn't seem worth it. Nope. He yoinks a three. <laughs> Which means I can't play the Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have to be real careful with the Phoenix. My heart holds no forgiveness for traitors. Aggressive. Together! Oh, don't get used to it. This enslave is three. Kind of hard to get a better enslave than three in Arena. When did I start streaming? Uh. A little over two years ago. Long live me! Let's try to jam it and pray. I thought he was, uh, I thought I was yoinking my phoenix.
Pelicans. Okay, I will cleave. He is playing into the Phoenix. Okay. If he yoinks it, he yoinks it. At this point, it's just for round three. You should be able to get card advantage. I'll splash the pot whenever I allow it, please. Target acquired. Mm. Um, can I just want this round three? Just play the bear. He's hitting harmony. This Phoenix do? And then, uh, the hatchlings makes another Phoenix. My studies are more important than this. Link the botchling. That works. I'll take that. Three, two, two, one, one. Two, one, one, one. Yeah. What happened here? Takes ram over Yoakim. Okay. Blue Dream sucks now. <laughs> okay, what's in the Aguara? Oh, White Frost. This is only six because I have to target things. Aw, oh, man. Alright, not even six, it's five. <laughs> uh, what's worth more? The card or my leader? I know I'm drawing to Vigo, which makes my leader good. Just for you, love. Oh, I should have taken the vitality. Whoops. My bad. I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't know. Weird. Pride is 
is all we've left. Mm, sounds pretty good. Guara doing the hard carry. I don't know how much of the carrying has been a Guara versus just my leader being insane. How you doing? Got business for me. Just trying to get a peek back. What are your scores like this season? <laughs> number seven right now. Nice, nice. United States, New Jersey. Pretty sure he's talking about Pro Ladder, the, the much less prestigious number seven. players. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> what has this stream turned into in the last couple of months? No! How do you have Regis and not Regis the Pikeman? <laughs> He's not a cardsmith. The bait didn't work. Watch regularly. Are you enjoying the game that much? Yeah, I don't know how the other streamers feel about Gwent right now. I don't really watch other streams that much. It is uh, not a very fun time to be a Gwent content creator at the moment. Content droughts are always. Ugh. Nah, no plans on playing ranked today. Shaggy was streaming beta Gwent tournament earlier? Really? Whoa, I, I need to see this. Uh, what is he, Shaggy CCG? That's not right. One word. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why was he watching this game in particular? You watch the whole set? I'm probably watching that stream later. We left for a bathroom. <laughs> so we left it on. <laughs> oh no. Ow. Okay, 
just hard if they go into their larva and we'll be fine. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Our deck looks pretty broken now, huh? He's got a, got a bunch of armor. Um, play cards. I still know all the cards from back then. Not that weird. Gets four more points. Yep, it's Arena. Hello, Mr. Streamer. What is your favorite 10p card in Gwent, and why is it Lippy? Uh, I, as much as I don't like Lippy decks, I do like the design of Lippy. I think Lippy's a really cool card. I could see it being Lippy. I don't know what else is in the 10p card pool. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Igni is a 10p card. Igni is a 10p card now. Yeah, let's look at the let's look at the 10p card pool. Let's... Now I'm curious. Um. I can see it being Lippy. Yigurn's a pretty sweet card. I like Yigurn a lot. Igor. I, ooh. Igor was there. Igor is sweet. There are a couple cool ones. Yenikora. What is URCG? URCG is this. It is the Gwent-like card game that I've been working on in my free time. The build just went public a couple days ago. You can play it by clicking on that link. What's your uh, Discord name? I can give you the role. I think, uh, I think I opened the channel up to the public, but I can give you the role.
Uh, yeah, it used to be on the Discord for me to give you the roll. Discord is the... Just right there. Cool, I got you. You are now a Guanter. Enjoy. Please. Um, okay, there you are. Got you too. Lizard in the not fruit row is interesting. Pretty sure I'm passing anyway, but a little weird. I was not expecting that pass. I thought for sure the Phoenix mean meant he was going to push us. Um, so what do you want to do then? I can't take with just a Scholar, like Giga Squirt. Weird. So we've got Larva. That's always fun. Not clicking it is better against Sandstorm. Thing. Pretty good fanatic. No second larva, but not gonna complain. That procs the thrive. Huh. I didn't expect it to. I think the nickname Farmer's Market. No. <laughs> Gurney's just always going to be called Gurney. You can't change that.
lot of hits on this that are pretty good. If it buffs the botchling, I get more thrives. The old mono special gurney deck. Take that brawl. I don't get a brawl, right? Taking the armor off. Why? Explains it, I guess. Transform these. Um, flipping this loses a point. They don't get my thrive. I don't think he has, yeah, <laughs> the points. Cool. He's seven and oh. Why are we seven and oh? Larva, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Larva uprising. Vigo Hyrules. <laughs> Phoenix? I don't think the Phoenix has much to do with it. Scenario in arena, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's usually worth the risk. Depends how late you're picking it up, though. Obviously, but the worst case on most scenarios isn't really that bad. Even bricked playing a reinforced trebuchet as a gold card isn't the end of the world. Give up now. What you looking at? 
Yeah, Fain Death is miserable. Fain Death's also the easiest one to proc, though. And there's a ton of elves. Rick passive floor is better than like 40% of other gold. Yeah, you can say that about a lot of them. The five proficient bronze engines aren't that bad. And obviously the potential for passive floor to be the nuts is pretty good as well. But there's like plenty of picks where you would take a slice of just over your golds. Over the other golds in the pack. Really not that rare. Card in my hands. Maybe play it just to get the extra carry over to the smuggler. I guess it makes our war council better too. We have a war council. Yeah. New reasons to want to play it. I play more constructed than arena. It's constructed still gets the YouTube views, and those are important to me. You make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You will not regret this. Oh, hey. Larv is in the Vigo. Our deck is broken. We have a good Thrive Curve, too. Next to the bear for me. Aw, oh, darn. Like, just gold, still five probs? Yeah. They can make Larva six provisions. And six provisions is like a really big jump from five, and Larva would still be good. Um, Larva is nuts. It's 
Excuse me, necromancy a more obvious choice? I don't know about that. Like, necromancy doesn't get any better. The problem with necromancy is you'd have to have larvae in your graveyard. So it needs to... Like, larvas have to die. You can't play it in L1 most of the time. Larva Necker is a pretty bad example of power creep, though. Larva is a pretty different card from Necker. You trade armor for provisions, or provisions for armor. Yeah, like one is free and one costs something. Very big difference. This is so gross. How many points we have? Mm. We lose the Yurden. 14, 15, 16, 17. It doesn't matter, he doesn't have it. Okay, well, I know how we got our 8th win there. Our deck was just broken that game. <laughs> Actually just broken. Not a scary leader. Yeah, we're currently 8 now. Not sure. Not sure what happened. On the blue coin, I'm scared. Squelter with the Twitch Prime. Thanks for the 14 months, dude. Welcome back. Who watches us? You high rolled Vigo every time? Nah. We uh, had one low roll that didn't matter. We hit Larva twice, we hit Fnatic once. I think we only rolled it three times. Mm. Yeah, we're currently 8 0 somehow. Chat wanted me to break contract. Like always. Uh huh. We're gonna get a good brawl. Not quite a Fibonacci brawl, but a pretty good brawl. A brawl that I can't complain about. No, I haven't seen it. I don't really use Twitter. Was it one of their partner spotlight things? Do they still do that? What? My world, my rule. 
actual cheats. <laughs> That's not even bad for us, right? We can't kill a Galdrian on 3. <laughs> Good trade. Good trade. Oh god. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. We've missed our Vigo and our Carlo, but we have a Larva. Can't complain that much. Yikes. Most useful Vega create? Larva. Larva is the best Vega target in the game. And we have it. What the fuck? Okay, this guy's deck is nuts. We lose. <laughs> we had fun though. What is this trash? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. We have no boat. We have a larva, alright. We have a larva. Our opponent has <laughs> some better cards. Oh my god, it never ends. It never ends! I mean, to be fair, the larva is not what's losing us the game. The larva is going to be about as many points as Isverno. What, this is our last play. This deck. I mean, our opponent just played bronzes in round one. We don't need that many good goals to be doing this in round three. Good. Just hit this every time. It did. It hit it every single time. Pretty sure I need to greed the point here. Monka S. <laughs> oh fuck. I didn't respect Grigor. Oh no. <sighs> Get there. Guys, this leader's so broken. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I 
feel pretty good about that one. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break. I'll be back in like two minutes, and uh, when we get back, we'll draft up another one. Hope you guys stick around. Uh, yeah, they will kick you out of pro rank. Can I let chat chat draft the next deck for me? I don't think that'd be very fun. I don't know. I I already kind of let chat influence the picks, right? There's a lot of like downtime and waiting for chat to make a decision. I usually already value the more fun cards over the correct choice. <laughs> 